The museum in downtown Kitchener, Ontario, Canada is really pleased to be putting together a show called RAM. RAM is our newest uh, risk that we're taking for this uh, community and we're just delighted to be working with Marla Wasser again. Marla was the curator of our Andy Warhol show that took place a couple of winters ago. And I'm just delighted to be working with Marla, our staff, volunteers and the board to bring RAM to this community. We are bringing together a group of seven internationally famous pioneer artists of art and technology that are going to be showing work from the 1960s to today. Through the understanding of these artists and what stands behind their work, we're going to relook at everything that art and technology really stands for. There are a lot of misconceptions about art and technology and um, the use of computers and what that means and, and, and it's a very misunderstood genre. Computers are static, they're neutral. They do nothing until you actually tell them what to do. It's like a paintbrush, if you think about it. A, a paintbrush as a tool is nothing until the artist picks it up and creates their masterpieces. So in fact, we are celebrating the man behind the machine and his personal message. The essence of RAM is seven uh, digital media artists from around the world, including two from Canada. And the festival strategy will bring speakers from around the world, it will bring the artists together as a panel, it will bring uh, film, and it will bring um, area technological geeks, if you will, um, to, the, to the museum on a regular basis uh, in terms of workshops and, uh, and other activities where people can get involved. The wonderful thing about RAM is it can appeal to an 8-year-old or an 88-year-old in that it will be interactive and it will showcase uh, humanization of machine. It will be really wonderful to see that interaction with our, with our visitors. So the audience is going to have this initial wow factor that is just going to blow them away. But then there is the whole secondary component to RAM, the educational factor about the audience themselves. What is the audience now, after they've experienced RAM, going to feel about art and the machine? How are they going to reinterpret it? If we've accomplished that, I think we've done something really special. RAM, we think, has the ability to play in Paris or New York City or Montreal or Toronto and even China. We're talking with some partners there now to take the show there in the spring of 2012. It, it's so wonderful in a community that has a head office for RIM, Christie Digital, Open Text, Google, that we would create RAM, Rethinking Art and Machine, and export it to the world.